Hey, good morning. This is Sean Yu. Um, today, I'd like to share with you the RMLS market action that came out last week. But first, quick announcement. Uh, my home search and the home valuation website address has changed from srpdex.com to homes4savings.com. So please go there to check out brand new homes, other listings, or check out your home value. So we don't have enough inventory, like I said last month. It's, we actually have less inventory than the April 2016. The inventory is 1.7%. Medium price went up. Interest rate is still pretty low. So it is a great time to sell for the sellers. And it's still a pretty tough time for the buyers because there aren't that many inventories. So that's the quick summary. New listing felt about 7.9% compared to the last year, April 2016. Pending sales about 10% cooler than 2016. We would like to see more inventory so we can actually move more buyers and sellers. Now, closed sales fell about 11%, 15% shorter than 2016. Inventory is 1.7 month. And medium, per, uh, medium price increased 11.6% from 318500 to 355500 It's pretty much following the 2016 trend. It's almost identical. So what it looks like is May might be almost similar. And then we'll follow that sort of more listings in the summer months and then go down like that. Now, pending sales, they say, they're say they saying the cooler and cooler, 10% cooler, whatnot, and this is what you're seeing basically. Last April, a lot less homes went on pending. Um, not just because of market is slowing down, it's because of the lack of inventory. So the, the more sellers put the house on the market, we're gonna go, you know, see this more up trend. Lake Oswego and Westland is leading the pack. So, and then the second one is North uh, Northwest uh, Portland and North Washington County. Okay, so the number one question that I get from the sellers right now is when is best time to list a home? Um, in my opinion, right now. And then next summer, next spring and summer is going to be still good as long as that interest rate doesn't go up. Right now, the, the uh, national employment unemployment data is really good too. All time low, I think it's like 4.4%. So things don't change as much. Interest rate stays down. I think we're going to see increase, continuous price increase until next summer. So, but beyond that, we really don't know. And I don't really know. And the industry really doesn't know either. Uh, but for the buyer, uh, you have to think of it as a long term, five to seven years, and you should be fine. Price is going to continually go up. It, for the buyer, the most important thing is leveraging this low interest rate so you can actually pay a lot less on the interest payment, which is huge. So if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. And uh, if you know of someone who is thinking about selling or buying, please let me know so I can help them. Thank you. Bye.